Hi there. Have you noticed some issues with your Zern Wilkins 600 XL3 pressure reducing valve? No worries. We'll go through some maintenance and troubleshooting to get your assembly functioning again. But first, here are some important things to know. You'll need to visually inspect and pressure test the 600 XL3 annually. Contact a certified plumber if you're not qualified to perform inspection or maintenance. Anytime you adjust the valve, use a pressure gauge downstream to verify you've achieved the correct pressure. If the desired pressure reduction is more than a three to one ratio, or the inlet pressure is above 150 PSI, you'll need to install multiple regulators in series to prolong the life of the valve. The following are situations to be aware of. If you notice pressure periodically building up in the system above the outlet set pressure, it may be caused by thermal expansion. This is natural and may happen each time a water heater runs. Pressure will be relieved the next time a fixture is opened downstream of the 600 XL3. If pressure frequently builds up above the outlet pressure, then debris buildup or worn parts may be the problem. To correct this, either flush the 600 XL3 or repair it with the appropriate Zern repair kit. We will cover instructions for both later in this video. If the pressure and flow to fixtures downstream of the valve is unsteady or inadequate, then supply pressure that's set too low or heavy periodic demands may be straining your current system settings. Consider increasing the pressure to increase the flow to your fixtures. Finally, if the 600 XL3 appears to be noisy, chattering, humming, or whistling, there are several possible reasons. The internal components are worn, the pressure reduction is greater than a three to one ratio, or you need to clean the seat washer and seal ring. We'll show you how to clean or replace components next. If the noise persists after you have cleaned or repaired components, contact a certified plumber to determine if the valve or system is the correct size. All right then, here's how to inspect, clean, and replace or repair components of your 600 XL3. You'll need these tools. First, close the shutoff valve upstream of your 600 XL3 to turn off your water supply. Next, open a faucet downstream to remove the line pressure. Loosen the strainer cap counterclockwise and remove the screen for cleaning. Remove all debris from the screen before reinstalling. Note and record the height of the adjustment bolt protruding from the bell housing. Loosen the lock nut on the adjustment bolt. Then turn the adjustment bolt out of the bell housing to remove the spring tension. Using a wrench, remove the bell housing by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the spring, spring disc, and friction ring. Remove the cartridge assembly from the regulator by gripping the retaining bolt with pliers and pulling it outwards from the valve's body. While the valve is disassembled, open the upstream shutoff valve slightly to flush out the valve body and service line of any debris. Visually inspect the internal machined surfaces in the valve body where the O-rings of the cartridge seal. Look for any cuts or gouges in the body. If there is any visible damage or corrosion to the bronze body, please replace the entire valve. Visually inspect both sides of the diaphragm for cuts, tears, or material degradation. Clean as needed. Next, inspect the seal ring and seat for any nicks, cuts, or other damage. If there is no visible damage to the body or internal parts, clean the parts as needed and reassemble according to the directions that follow. If there is visible damage to any of the parts, you will need to replace them. Repair kits for the 600 XL3 are available by calling Zern Customer Care, 
9876. To reinstall the cleaned or new assembly, apply silicone grease to the cartridge O-ring. Install the cartridge into the body, making sure the pins on the cartridge align with the respective holes in the body, and the O-ring seals tightly against both the body and the cartridge. Replace the friction ring. Ensure that the raised edge is facing up. Improper installation can cause damage to the diaphragm. Next, replace the spring, spring disc, and the bell housing. Tighten the bell housing onto the body by threading clockwise. If the bell is properly installed, there should be no threads showing. Turn the adjustment bolt into the bell housing and adjust to the height you previously recorded. Place the valve into service according to the installation instructions. You can watch our 600 XL3 installation video for instructions. Next, open several fixtures downstream of your valve. Open the upstream shutoff valve slowly to turn on the water service. Let the water run for several seconds or longer if needed until the air is purged from the system. Then turn off the fixtures downstream. Adjust the pressure to your desired outlet pressure by turning the adjustment bolt clockwise to raise the pressure or counterclockwise to lower the pressure. Tighten the lock nut when the desired pressure is achieved. Using a pressure gauge, retest the valve to confirm proper operation as outlined in the testing section of the 600 XL3 testing manual. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this information useful. If you need additional support, please reach out to our Zern customer care team. For other installation and troubleshooting videos, visit Zern's YouTube channel.